Hi, I'm Stu Miniman with theCUBE, and we're here at the Winslow Technology Group, Dell EMC User Group. Happy to have on the program one of the users here at the event, Andrew Baxter, who's the Director of Systems Engineering with Commonwealth Financial Network. Andrew, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. All right, tell us a little bit about your organization and your role there. Certainly, um, Commonwealth Financial Network is an independent broker-dealer. Uh, we have a network of roughly 2,000 advisors throughout the country. Uh, just based in the U.S. right now, um, and we that's what we do. We're a clearinghouse for them. We provide all their IT infrastructure for them. Okay, the, the, the good news is that financial, like most industries, isn't going through any change today, right? Oh, Andrew? yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, right. we've got the Department of Labor is our big bugaboo right now. Yeah, so what, 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 what are some of the, the biggest challenging? Is it, is it regulation? Is it uncertainty? Is it, you know, technology? What, what, what are some it's of the drivers for the business? It's a combination of both. Um, we have a lot of issues with uh, regulation because of such people as Enron and whatnot. Um, Smartest people in the room, right? Exactly, <laughs> and and it's not the regulation is not a bad thing. It's just uh, can be problematic to work with. Um, so the most recent one is the Department of Labor, where they have decided how your retirement funding can be managed, and to make sure that there is no conflict of interest. Okay, um, so <laughs> yeah, it, 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 yeah, we're, we're not going to get political here yep, and go yep, into yep, you know yep, how much absolutely. government and everything like that. Um, yep. you know, what does that mean to, to your role? Tell us a little bit about what what, sure. what you manage and uh, really from. So from my group point. is responsible for our virtualization, our server platform, all of our storage, our data protection, be it backup, uh, antivirus, things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, so we've got several different systems from a performance standpoint, and then we also have things from a compliance standpoint. Uh, point. A lot of worm drives uh, in the form of Centera or Hitachi Content Platform, um, and then the storage that goes around that and the applications that go with them. All right, well, you, you've got one of the hot button topics, security. Yes. Tell us a little bit about, you know, there's the, there's the compliance and there's security. How is that impacting uh, what you're doing these days? So there, there's sort of two different things. Compliance is one thing, you know, yeah. maintaining your compliance. But the security level, um, you know, we have a whole group, or two groups actually, independent of each other that sort of check each other and then check us to make sure that, one, we're keeping the patch levels up, but also that we're following best practices to try to keep the bad guys out. We, uh, I think everybody knows that you can't keep them out if they really want in. It really comes down to how you're going to react. And so we've got to make sure that we have the tools in place to be able to react appropriately. Yeah, uh, one of the things we've been looking at is, you know, security used to just be, uh, you know, the networking people take care of it, or we, you know, put up some firewalls, we do some things. Now, security a lot of times getting up to the board level type of discussion. You know, what, what's the dynamic in your organization? Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, we do have the traditional on the network side, um, but we have a group within that that is specifically focused on that, and it's more than just the network side of it. And then we have the information security group and that's more the board level where they're helping to define what types of data are critical um, you know personally identifiable information uh, we have HIPAA uh, other regulations like that FINRA the SEC that we have to uh, make sure that we we secure your information as well as possible okay uh, what brings you to, to this event so uh, we've been a customer or a partner with Winslow I, I, I like to think of my vendors, for lack of a better word, as partners. Yeah. I don't want to just use them as somebody I call when I need something. I want them to be somebody who is involved in the process, whatever that may be. And in this case, uh, right now, we're currently using them for all of our virtual desktop infrastructure from the storage, the server standpoint. Uh, we're using uh, some Dell products for wireless and things like that. Um, and then as the time goes on and we start to do more refresh of equipment, then we're going to be looking at all the vendors and not just the traditional ones. Um, so, you know, you get the big three, sort of HPE, Dell, and, and Lenovo in the server market, or UCS as well. Um, so we're going to make sure that we look at all of them and see who has the best offering for us for what we need. Okay. Uh, what about a cloud? How does that fit into your organization? Do you have, you know, cloud means many things to many people, sure. but what, what, what's it mean to your organization? What's the strategy look like today? So we have two situations. One, we are actually a cloud for all of our advisors. We provide them with the, their exchange, their active directory, their antivirus, their patching, things like that. And then we're also looking at, at the Azure and the AWS offerings. We have to be very careful as we move to those offerings because we have to make sure that we retain the security level when that data leaves our hands, as it were. Uh, the financial markets tend to be a little slow moving to that kind of stuff because we've got very sensitive data that we've got to make sure that doesn't go away. 
doesn't get breached and doesn't become generally available to the world. <laughs> yeah, uh, talk to us a little bit about what data means to your organization. Sure. Of course, securities piece. How are you? Are, are there initiatives to leverage data more? Um, you know, it, it, you, you look almost like a service provider. Is sure. Uh, we've seen many organizations that leverage that kind of technology. So one of the uh, there's a couple different ways we do that. Uh, one of them is the actual software we've written for our advisors to use. So we're providing them with all the information they could ever want about their clients, the performance of the portfolios, things like that. But then there's also, on the other side, uh, we're starting to look more into the Power BI, uh, that kind of information, so that we can start leveraging, sort of paying more attention to how our products are being used in, uh, in a, a more proactive manner, instead of reactive. Okay, uh, curious how things like Hyperledger and blockchain, uh, you know, play into, you know, does it play into anything you're doing today? What does your organization look not at? Not currently, yeah. um, it will be down the road, I'm sure, but uh, at this point it's not something because we really just haven't moved anything out to that area yet. Okay, great. I uh, want to give you the, really the last word. What, what, do, what do you kind of, when you come into an event like this, what are you looking for? What, what do you hope to take away from this? I'm looking for what's new, yeah. what's coming. Uh, I want, I need to make sure that I'm trying to stay ahead of things um, because if part of what we have to do is we have to set the tone for what's going to be coming in the coming years. Um, and so I don't want to just see the same old thing, and that's one thing I like about Winslow. You know, they do keep on the cutting edge. They do keep forward. You know, they've got cloud you know, for lack of a better term, as part of their portfolio. And I feel that they actually know what they're doing. I have worked with some vendors that they could spell the word, but that was about it. So. <laughs> Absolutely. So the, the cloud washing, if you will. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate the, the updates on, on where all of this technology fits into your, your environment. And you've been watching The Cube.